The year 2020 has been a torturous year for some residents in the northeast and northwest regions in relation to security. From southern Kaduna killings to Governor Zulum's attack and to the Kankara schoolboy's abduction. Plus, TV Africa's correspondent Amadin Uyi takes us through the journey on military efforts to secure the country. The year 2020 witnessed its own fair share of conflicts around the country. Available data showed that Nigeria had its military engaged in over 30 states of the Federation in one operation or the other aimed at restoring peace and sanity to the troubled regions. With the insurgency in the Northeast, the rise of banditry and attack on rural communities continued in the Northwest. In Kaduna State, Many communities around the Beninguari area suffered from attacks from armed bandits and armed headsmen, leading to the death and abduction of many and the destruction of property in the northwest region. Residents of some of these communities, notably from the southern Kaduna area, said the attacks had left their crops and farmlands overrun by the armed groups. The advent of the coronavirus pandemic and the subsequent lockdown by the federal government reduced the media coverage of the crisis, shifting focus to the pandemic. This, however, did not stop the attacks on some of these farming communities. According to the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, the attacks by armed groups targeting civilians increased tremendously in the year 2020. In August, protests rocked the nation's capital over the continuous killings in southern Kaduna and government's inability to stop the trend. Representatives from southern Kaduna ethnic groups say hundreds of communities were attacked by armed gunmen, leaving a trail of sorrow, death, and blood. We are tired. Your land. No, no. We are tired. Our mama don't do. My mother was running and crying with gunshots in the background. We are tired. We are fed up. Every day, keep killing our people. We cannot keep quiet. My village was the first village that was attacked. That's Chibok in Kyogudu. I lost eight members of my family, and somebody is there sleeping, thinking that all is well. The government is not helping matters, and we have come here to actually voice out our feelings to tell the whole world that the genocide that is taking place in southern Kaduna, in Kataflan, enough is enough. While government continued to battle the security challenges, on December the 13th, armed gunmen attacked a school in Kankara, Katsina State, and abducted about 344 science school students. After several days of negotiations, the release was secured and all the boys were united with their families. Though many condemned the act, the military in a new twist revealed that the boys were released via a military operation and not direct negotiations with the abductors. I know sooner than later they'll begin to ask us, how did you do it? And when it is declassified, it will be appropriately communicated as a lesson for the future. All the 34, 344 students of government science secondary school who were abducted, were rescued, alive. With the 2020 year winding up, Nigerians will be looking forward to a more peaceful 2021. Amadin Ui, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.